everybody welcome back to Ohio yet again uh, so our last video we failed our donut trail so in the future we will definitely be going back but today we are in the lovely town of Columbus Ohio at Buckeye Donuts uh, so comes in a white box with a Buckeye Donut sticker and they saw that we were taking lots of pictures and documenting they asked if we wanted stickers so they got Buckeye Donut stickers, which is awesome. Because that's what so. she needs, is more stickers. Yes. Here's the receipt. Let's see, we were at Buckeye Donuts. 1998 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Clearly a college town type area. Mm -hmm. uh, very very popular, the guy in front of us in line. Uh, they referred to his grandpa, the guy behind the counter gave him a hug. So yes. it's definitely a local's place. It's not big. Um, I think it's a, a little bigger than the car we're in right now. And they also serve food. On top yeah, of donuts. Yeah, cheese sticks. Weird. Like, which I thought, I mean, cheese catering. sticks and donut. Well, this is also a 24 hour donut shop. So, oh. this is catering to the college. Oh, environment. God, yeah, yeah. Three in the morning donuts, whatever, with some, with some, <laughs> with some cheese, cheese sticks and a little bit of parmesan. Or, and a beer. You know, marinara and a beer. Why not? Done. <laughs> uh, there was a little counter uh, where people were sitting, things mm -hmm. like that. But, uh, Total was nine dollars with tip because they were super awesome. Yeah, we tipped. And them. we got six donuts for eight dollars, so dollar right. fifty a piece. All right, so we had a Actually, little. Actually, I can't do math. It's less than. That. We had a little uh, ordering error, and we accidentally ordered two glazed. So I guess we'll each take a bite and right, have our own glaze. Cheers. cheers! Cheers to the glazed here. Ah. Hmm. <laughs> it's a good sugar coating. I wish mm. the glaze was a little heavier. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like mine, if you look, it looks kind of dry. Okay, we'll try this one. See if it's any different. <laughs> what glaze is not dry? I really. can't imagine, but I thought it was fantastic. I mean, you know, mm. I told myself I was going to turn that off. So, yeah. figures. I would get a phone call in like the 10 minutes. Yours has more glazed on it. Okay. So maybe mine got glazed when it was still too warm and all of it melted off. I don't it's know. It's possible. Because mine was actually more like an old fashioned. It was really dry. Okay, well let me try it. I'll try the dry glazed donut here. And you see how it doesn't have much glaze on it. <laughs> maybe I bit the one area that didn't have any glaze. Those under the fluorescent lights. Either way, it's, um, it's, fine to me. it's a very light donut. It's definitely a yeasty donut. Mm -hmm. um, your, your typical glaze flavor, what you're expecting. So, uh, well, next up we'll do Craig's Choice. Mm. The Blueberry Filled Powdered Sugar Donut. Mm. I'm digging these different flavors. Like, I usually look for the raspberry or the strawberry jelly donut. But I saw blueberry. I also had a choice of lemon, but I decided to go with blueberry because yeah. I like blueberry. Mm -hmm. He's trying to torture me just like I've been torturing him with one of my donuts. You'll notice we will never order a coconut donut either because neither of us like coconut. I will suffer through blueberry for him. Mm. He will suffer through the vanilla cream for me. Yes? I didn't get much of the blueberry filling. Okay. But it's definitely a powdery... Oh, wow. Yeah, black pants. Bad choice. You want to taste the blueberry filling? Yes, I want to taste the flavor. Hmm. Yeah. Again, blueberry's not my cup of tea, um, so I'm a tough judge on that one. It's not bad. It's not as good as the other blueberry donut. Yeah. Have. It's an okay filling. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, we're, we're in a friend's car this time. Yeah. Woohoo! Uh, yes, we're in a Infinity Q60, so. So we are. Not as big as that van. Like, I can almost touch the backseat. Yeah. As our ever changing states, cars, environments. All right. What do we got here? All right. Next up is one of their in demand donuts, the Buckeye. So there's also an ice cream shop in Cincinnati that has a Buckeye ice cream oh. that is amazing. It's usually a chocolate peanut butter. So we are expecting this one. Graders. And I Buckeye. think I need to like move some of this frosting to the side because otherwise I'm not getting away with it. Peanut butter? Mm hmm. Mm. I can see why that's a top seller. That's a tasty donut. 
I mean, you remember when your mom would make those peanut butter cookies and she would squish a Hershey's Kiss on the top when it was still warm? Mm -hmm. And you bite into that? That is almost exactly what that tastes like. Yeah. I don't know what those cookies are called. They're probably called They're peanut, called butter, peanut butter cookies. Kiss. Cookies. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Buckeye. Winner. Mm-hmm. All right. And You'll this... make lots of friends with that diet. I'll do mine next so that it's not mm -hmm. the last thing you taste. Yeah, thank all you. All right. So we all know that I am a huge fan of the chocolate frosted with vanilla filling. This one's got a crap ton of jimmies on it, though. It is a yeah, heavy... Put your hand under it. It is a, a heavy, heavy donut. Like, I picked it up to take a picture, and I was like, wow. I'm, like, holding a brick right now. <laughs> Hopefully it won't feel like one when you bite into it. Yes. Oh, wow. You might like this that's, one more. Look, there's a, yeah, it's heavy. That's about a half pound. Mm -hmm. You might like this one more because it's not as sweet as the one from yesterday. It's a lighter cream. It's not as sugary. Yeah. But. Still me, not really my bag uh, of donuts. Let me open this up though. Look how much cream is in there. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of cream That's and it is, it is a dense, dense donut. See, that one wasn't as bad for you. Mm -mm. Like, I would still go over the Buckeye over. Well, I know that. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, also one of their best sellers, a red velvet with cream cheese frosting. Bringing a little bit of the South up North here. Yeah. With the red velvet cake. Wow. Oh, wow. That is, wow. Is it bleeding? <laughs> that is a red donut. That is a very red donut. And that's actually very tasty. I could eat more of that. The cream cheese frosting is like awesome. I mean, you want a red velvet, but like, I mean, that is like red. But it's, <clears throat> it's like an old fashioned donut in its texture and in mm -hmm. the thickness. Yeah. But then you get the cream cheese filling on the top or coating on the I'm top. I'm really liking the cream cheese filling. I think that really does it because that would be a tough donut to eat just by itself. If it was just the, the red cheese. velvet. Yeah. Yeah. Red velvet sells it. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so the only other one that they're well known for that we didn't get was their maple bacon. Mm -hmm. It's cream filled. It's cream filled. He's not a fan. However, one thing they did that was very interesting is they actually did full strips of bacon across the top of the maple bar part of it, which is in the pictures. So you'll have to reference those on Instagram. Um, but overall, super nice guys, very helpful. Fast service. Fast service, 24 hours. So no matter what time you fly into Columbus or happen to be passing through Columbus, you can still come and get these, which is amazing. So if you're road tripping across country and you're just passing through, stop in, grab some donuts, get back on the road. So thumbs up for me. Mm. Obviously, Craig's finishing a donut right now. I thought this one was really tasty. It is a tasty donut. I just happened to have a bite that didn't have a lot of glaze on it. Yeah, he's picky. Anyway, uh, we got two more stops here in Columbus, uh, so stay tuned over the next two weeks as we cover those. This is not even number one here in Columbus. This is number three. Yeah, so um, I'm very anxious. We talked to our hosts that we're staying at, and they said the number one really is the number one here in town to check out. So I, I'm interested to compare to this because these are really good. I'm going to let her keep talking. Yeah, well, now he's done. Uh, we're going to let you guys go, and we will catch you next week uh, as we go on to our next stop here in Columbus. And thanks for tuning in. And, again, comment if you want us to try something or have a place you have in mind. or Yeah, have a favorite donut shop or a favorite donut, and uh, you're like, oh, you have to come to X to try Y. Hell, even if you have a good donut recipe that I can make at home. I'm, I'm game. You can make donuts at home. Yeah. So we're 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 open. So, alrighty. 
All so right. that's it for today. Yeah. Uh, we will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye.